My first video here on Madden 21 Next Gen, and right before I sat down to record this video, this is what I saw on Twitter. Oh, thank God, I thought it was the same dude again. Why is there a car in the middle of the fucking... So in today's video, experiencing the Next Gen version of Madden 21 for the first time, hopefully we don't come across any cars. Eat corn and get RBT to 1 million subscribers by Christmas. Eat your corn. Love your corn. But you need to get RBT to 1 million subscribers by Christmas. But face camless RBT today because I want this to all be about Madden 21 next gen. I don't want my beautiful face to get in the way. But a bunch of different things we are going to test out today. There's some different things in Madden 21 next gen I want to see. And then we'll jump into an actual head to head game. So you can experience my first thoughts on Madden 21 next gen live. Hope you guys do enjoy today's first Madden 21 next gen video. If there's anything specific you want to see on next gen you want me to do on the channel. Let me in the comment section below. Also guys make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Because if and only if we do hit a million subs by the end of the year do a massive next gen console giveaway three of them up for grabs that's infinitely if though we do hit that million mark by the end of the year so make sure to take that millisecond does take to click that subscription button if you have what that said first thing i want to test out so it's the coolest thing i saw in all the trailers is i want to see you be able to jump and celebrate in the crowd we'll try two different stadiums there's apparently like eight or nine maybe ten stadiums that this is available in and obviously the most iconic is going to be the Lambo leap so we want to see me for the first time do the Lambo leap and right here yeah look at that dude I even think about it. the loading time is ridiculous I'm not sure if it's the same for like online head-to-head -head, but literally when you're playing like a franchise or a play now or something you don't even load in the game it automatically like enters you in the game so yeah the load in time for the games is a big freaking drastic difference there's supposed to be a decent amount of graphical improvements as well like the gameplay is not that much different apparently there's not many new additions but at least it's supposed to feel a little bit different we'll be able to see that today but like even this like the graphics do look a little bit better like you can tell it's a little bit crazy for a little bit more in-depth Aaron Rodgers looks pretty nice and also apparently the sidelines are supposed to be fixed as well so like some of the actual real players are supposed to be there on the sideline for the first time ever and obviously as you see the play calling menu is a little bit different as well I don't really think I like it that much all about just testing the new gen and yeah bro Dog, your players feel like they're running through god dang quicksand. I've seen some people on Twitter talk about how slow your players feel, and yeah, the first experience, they do feel extremely slow. Now, the most important thing, the sidelines. We actually have real players here. I mean, there's some real players. Like, it does look a little bit improved, but there's still, like, you know, your number nines over here who look like the old generic dudes. Like, Deshaun Watson on the sideline, like, you wouldn't normally see that. I'm using the Packers. Like, I mean, I wanted to see, like, there's a few, like, first team, like, first stringers on the sideline, but it's, it's still a lot of the generic, like, these guys that just were what you're normally used to seeing on the sidelines. They look so goddamn fake. So they're still there. At least you see some actual players on the sideline. You see Jordan Love over there warming up, so at least that's a little bit neat. And apparently, there's supposed to be a big improvement on the fans as well in the stands. They don't look so funky. I don't know though if I'm a fan of this new like kind of play call screen. It's just so different. Maybe I mean once I get used to it, it'll be nice. How does on rookie mode? I just want to freaking score a touchdown and see if we can actually do the Lambo leap. Oh, what do you know, Devontae Adams first play. I mean, yeah, the players feel so slow. So, crowd. Okay, so you can press down, and you can do the crowd celebration. And Devontae Adams, the Lambo leap for the first time I've ever seen in Madden history. You can do the Lambo leap. Let's go. It's actually sick. To be fair, that's actually extremely sick. So, apparently, when you score a touchdown, the little celebration thing pops up. You get to pick, like, dance or whatever you want to do, team celebration. You have the crowd celebration now. Let me try that again, though. And you see the next-gen stat, so apparently that's a huge thing for Madden 21 next-gen. Let me do, like, a quarterback draw or something, a score with Aaron Rodgers. I want to see him on a two-point conversion. I want to see him do the Lambo leap. That's if we can get to the end zone. He won so funky looking. Oh, I guess we can't do it on a two-point conversion, so that's stinky. So, so far, we've seen some improvements. We've seen the crowd celebration, the sidelines is a little bit better. The players, I mean, obviously, you can't tell from watching the video, but they feel so slow. Like, they're running the football, the routes, you can tell are a little bit crisper, which is what they said was going to be a big difference on next year. But it's just really nothing, like, huge. But I guess, I mean, some improvement is better than none. You can tell the, the throwing motions of Aaron Rodgers, I'm not sure if it's just me, like a placebo effect, but it looks a little bit different too. Okay, so this is actually pretty neat. This is like a little, what 
is this? Okay, that that's actually pretty cool. Like pursuit speed. Like uh, smart in the linebacker up to 14 mile per hour. So like this kind of stuff is cool. Took two and a half seconds or 2.7 seconds to sack Aaron Rodgers. Which I guess that is gonna be pretty cool for franchise mode. We get to the end zone. We did okay, so we can do the celebration with Aaron Rodgers. So Aaron Rodgers doing the Lambo leap. Let's go. See if this. I mean, it's, it's sick to be fair. Like seeing the Lambo leap in Madden is actually so freaking cool. Like that's the thumbnail. That's 100% gonna be the freaking thumbnail of this video. So yeah, every player that scores can do the Lambo leap for the crowd celebration for any of the available stadiums. And if you're wondering, the available stadiums is the Bengals, Broncos, Browns Stadium, Buccaneers Stadium, Chiefs Stadium. Jets and Giants Stadium, Jag Stadium, and only one of the end zones. Obviously, Lambeau Field, the Pro Bowl Stadium in one end zone. You have the Las Vegas Raiders in one of their end zones. You can do the crowd celebration. The Superdome, which is the Saints Stadium, the Texan Stadium, and my Tennessee Titans. And that's what we're about to check out. Celebration with Derrick Henry in the crowd. And look at that, dude. Like, it literally automatically puts you in the game. Like, there's not even a loading time. All right, so can we finally see Derrick Henry celebrating the crowd? Nissan Stadium, keep on running. Down in the right stick, let's see big old Derrick Henry, the Nissan Leap. It's not the same as Lambeau Field, to be fair, but it's still sick being able to see Derrick Henry in the crowd. That actually is so cool. Like, I... I mean, I know it's a very minuscule addition of the game, but still, like, that's so cool. Next on to head-to-head, -head, my first game online in Madden 21 Next Gen. I can't tell you the last time I actually played a head-to-head -head game on Madden 21. The menus, there's a really big difference in the menus as well. Like, the menus are so much faster. I play FIFA a lot, and I've played FIFA 21 Next Gen already, and that's a big improvement. The navigation in the menus is just so much faster, and if, like, you compare that to when this game first came out on the old gen it was ridiculous it's night and day difference but as you can tell from my last ultimate team video i've sold my entire team but tim tebow's gonna carry us today all right so we've gave tebow trust roaming dead eye dashing dead eye and escape artist so it should be pretty solid throwing the football and running it i'm probably gonna get beat so bad i just know i'm gonna come up against a freaking op team but it's all about experience and next gen firsthand i can actually play a weekend league game bro i don't know how i'm qualified i i might lose Loses by 600 points. So Madden 21 Weekend League on next gen with like a four overall team. Well, that's a funky looking team he has. He has 94 Ed Reed and that's all I got to see. Hopefully I just don't get shut out. Like the players, they do feel so slow. Hopefully this guy's just as clueless as I am when it comes to next gen. Here you are, Tim Tebow. Come on, Tebow, please don't fumble. Okay. Okay, okay, Tebow. Like, the running, I can't explain it, but it definitely does feel so much different. Tyreek Hill, this should be a catch. A dime! I mean, this guy has like a 90-plus overall team, and I'm still just going down the field on him pretty easily. Bo Jackson, handoff. We get a first down. I mean, it might only be the 88 version of Bo Jackson, but it's still able to run the ball effectively. You know what? Tebow, take it off! Tebow, let's go! And off to Bo again. I mean, it's just so hard to explain the running. You just have to feel it to notice how different running the football is. It's supposed to be more realistic. Oh, it's just meant to be. We've got to have Tim Tebow celebrate in the crowd on our first drive on Next Gen Online head-to-head. -head. Quarterback sneak. Oh, does it not let you do it online? Why did it not give that as an option? Is it not an option in Ultimate Team? That's so unfortunate, man. I was so excited to do the Nissan Stadium Leap with Tim Tebow. I'm not gonna lie, I have literally zero idea what I'm doing here on defense. So he might score 100, to be completely honest. I mean, that's a pick. Dog. Ah, ah, that's gotta be a pick, right? I wanna puke. I wanna puke. Thank you. Our first sack of Madden 21 next gen. Of course, it's Lawrence Taylor. Can't believe that I'm locking this guy down as well as I am with a freaking like 87 overall defense at this point. I just, I just ran commit by complete accident. Oh, I say all that to accidentally run commit to give him a free touchdown. I am so upset. Should have had two picks and it ends up in an accidental run commit for a touchdown and he misses the field goal. Poor guy. But so far, like, if you guys have noticed anything different, like, let me know what you think about Next Gen so far in the comments below. And also, like, if you've played it, let me know what you think from your first-hand experience. Well, this has just gone so badly. Like, there's just no shot, right? Thank you. 
Like, I should just be winning this game. Seven to nothing, and this guy's beating me. All right, this should be wide open. This should be a touchdown, maybe. So, can catch the football, what it is? Tyrone Calico, gotta make up for it. Thank you. Oh, God! Well, okay, yeah. So, he, you gotta be able to tell, even though you're not playing the game, that he ran the football a little bit different than you're normally used to seeing in Madden. I don't know why, him specifically, he runs the ball so much weirder than anybody else I've seen so far. Okay, please. Like, I, I this has got to be intercepted. I can't believe it. So Madden 21 Next Gen is an interceptionless game. So does the Next Gen stat things not pop up in online head to head? Like then what's the point? Wait, why did Josh Allen just get his X Factor enabled on an incompletion? Dog, I'm so confused. That's so annoying, dude. And now he's gonna be able to like just bomb the ball down the field probably. Oh please, oh please, oh please. Like, that's just, oh, like, I thought Madden 21 origin gameplay was funky. This is even funkier. All right, the post should be open again, right? Oh, I should have stayed up. Ah, if I do that, it might be another touchdown. Okay, I, I, my tight end was going to be wide open, but unfortunately, they ran into each other. Go, go, Tebow. Okay, so, like, the clunkiness is actually working in my favor here. I wonder if passing the football is, like, collectively for everybody a lot easier in next gen because, I mean, I don't remember a game like this where I've thrown the ball so effectively. All right, so we're into the fourth quarter. I've got to keep this field goal. As long as we can keep him out of the end zone, we should be okay. I might have missed that. Oh my. But a five point lead. This guy really hasn't done anything on offense all game long. But since he has Bazooka and Josh Allen, I'm kind of scared he can just chunk the ball deep and just beat my cornerbacks and my safeties that aren't that fast because they're just like 88 overall power off. Might just cover deep here. And it's just so like fluky. He shouldn't even have his Bazooka enabled. It counted an incomplete pass as his 30 plus yard pass to get Bazooka enabled. Like, so that's not even fair in the first place. Oh god, Alvin Kamara is so open. He's so freaking open. Of course, he's gonna run the football. I mean, right there, and he's still gonna fall forward for like six yards. My god, it's past the two minute warning now. His only touchdown came on a freaking fluky guy today. Guess we're up the middle by accident. Come on, please, please, please. To throw the ball away, he ran out of bounds like a four yard loss. Let's go. Right, here's the game, my dude. It's fourth down and goal. I just know he's gonna get it. I just know he is. I'm containing. I got a QB spy. Big hit. Yes! What a clutch user hit stick. Isaiah Simmons knocks the ball loose. He does have all three timeouts, though, which is kind of scary. But if we get one first down, it's pretty much at this point, my dude's a G freaking G. Even though he dropped 17 picks, he scored on a fumble return for a touchdown. He scored his other touchdown on an accidental guess from the middle. Like, I'm still so happy somehow with this stupid team that I have, this awful team that I have, with this guy that had like 94, 95 Ed Reed. I still might come out of here with the win. Oh, what is going on on the halfback screens? Well, that sucks. He gets the ball right back. Just no. Just no, please. I want to puke. I want to actually puke. This is stupid. This is so stupid. Stupid! And he gets the two-point conversion too. Ah, uh, this is this is just so dumb. Catch that football, Jermichael Finley. Thank you. We can call a timeout. We can still win this game here. And that's just that's so ironic, isn't it? That's just so ironic. So I lose, and I'm definitely going to retire from Madden 21 next gen on that.